Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding host popularity rental prices using Python as well as MySQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard. This question has been asked in Airbnb interviews and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer or software engineer interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question rates you are given a table of rental property searches by users the table consists of search results and outputs host in and outputs host information for searchers find the minimum average and maximum rental prices for each host popularity rating and the popularity rating is defined as zero reviews so it's a new one to five rising six to fifteen trending up sixteen to forty popular and more than forty hot Tip the ID column in the table refers to the search ID because you see uh, the first line is it's a table of rental property searches by users, right? You will need to create your own host ID by concatenating the four columns, price, room type, host sense, zip code and number of reviews. So actually five columns. Output host popularity rating and their minimum average and maximum rental prices. So we are given a data frame called Airbnb host searches and our expected output is a pandas data frame with four columns, the host popularity and minimum average and maximum price. Let's see how the information is stored in this uh, data frame Airbnb host searches. So basically every time you, you and I or the users are searching something, so that is being populated as one row, right? So for example, one search is you know the price of a house which is an entire home or apartment with these diff amenities and accommodates eight people three bathrooms real bed you know cancellation policy cleaning fee and all that uh, number of reviews and you know zip code bedrooms beds etc so this is one search now just by the virtue of it right since the air since airbnb is a central site right so there are multiple users who can be searching and because of that there can be multiple rows for one particular uh, you know host so that is why it is possible to have duplicates however you know since the ids will be different for each of them so if you do drop duplicates of entire call or entire columns right so that is not going to give you anything but however if you are you know just taking a segment of it right because once you are uh, making host id with these five columns right and then if you do uh, like try to find out the duplicates you will be able to find duplicates so let's for the first thing let's create a column called host id by concatenating these five columns right now let's uh, take this five columns uh, okay so uh, let me make uh, and since you know this the name of this data frame is so big let me just you know write it in a small thing so df is equal to basically copy this in a data frame called df so that it will be easier to write and more readable right that is the only purpose of doing this right copy you can go ahead and directly do it but since you are adding the five columns it is going to be very cumbersome right so now once we have this then let's make a column called uh, let's say host id right so host id which is basically df first column is uh, you concatenate price right so concatenate price and then you concatenate um, room type right room type then you concatenate uh, the host sense column right host sense column then you concatenate so df um, zip code and then you concatenate the number of rows right so number of reviews okay uh, but like this will won't this won't work right now because the data types of these different columns are different so we need to make sure that they are same so since price is what it's a full float type right room type is object or a string value so let's convert everything to string because host id will in act ultimately become a string right so to do that we can just simply do st uh, as type str right uh, room type is already string host sends is um host sense is a date time so obviously we can convert this again so as type str right 
zip code and number of reviews are also integer types right so integer types so we can again convert them into dot s type uh, str right uh, and this also becomes as type str okay so now once we have this uh, let me see okay so let's run this let's see what we have so you have everything uh, that you have from uh, airbnb host searches and we just created the host id column now since we uh, said that we are only required to keep certain rows right so we have host ids we require the price column because that price column is going to be used to calculate this minimum average and maximum price so we need the uh, price column where is price price column and since we also need to make sure uh, about the popularity rating which is based upon the number of reviews so the third column that we need is a number of reviews right so number of reviews so uh okay so first column that we need is host id right host id we just created secondly we need price and thirdly right thirdly we re need a number of reviews okay uh, and from this uh, obviously if i just you know let let me run this right so it will make us uh, make this more clear so now you look at it right so there is possible so host id is exactly the same price and number of reviews exactly the same so this means that this particular home was searched by two different users and because of that we have populated that in the table airbnb host searches so obviously you need to make sure that such duplicates are not present because that is just you know including bias in our data so to do this how we can do we can just simply drop duplicates right so if i write drop duplicates right and let me run this now let's see what we have so now you won't be having any duplicates so now once we have this then what we can do is let's store this in another data frame let's call it df2 and then from this what we need to do is so now we have uh, no duplicates we have the host id we have number of reviews and price now based on number of reviews we need to firstly do the popularity rating and once we have the popularity rating then we can group by the popularity rating to you know calculate the minimum average and maximum of the prices so since there are five different categories right so what you can do is we can go ahead and write a function and then use the dot apply method to use that function so let's create a function right so let's create a function so we need to write a function using define right so define the function name can be popularity or like whatever it does not matter and it takes the value right it takes one value and then it will check that value against these conditions right so if x is equal to equal to zero right then return right so you return new right because since uh, for each of these only one of this is going to be correct right so if x is equal to 0 then return this uh, new category right else if right else if x is greater than 0 and x is less than equal to 5 right x is less than equal to 5 you return rising right again else if x is greater than 5 and x is less than equal to 15 right then you return trending up right trending up else if right else if x is greater than 15 and x is less than equal to 40 right then you re uh, okay return popular right return popular else right else you simply return return hot okay so now we have created this function and now we let's you know use this function to basically create a new column 
right which is uh, going to be let's say host popularity right because that is what is the name of the uh, this column in the output as well so I'll, if you don't uh, you know rename it you need to rename it afterwards so like instead of doing all that let's make sure that okay df2 host popularity right so df2 host popularity column is basically what take df2 and where do we need to apply this so x is basically what it is based on the number of reviews right so from this df2 uh, table that we just created right df2 table take the number of reviews column right so number of reviews column and then just apply this function so the name of the function was popularity so apply this function right popularity and let's look at what we have now okay so now you have host id price number of reviews and a new column called host popularity okay the spelling is p o uh, okay let me run this again uh, so now yeah host popularity and you have these values now once we have this then what we need to do is we need to group by this host popularity column right group by this host popularity column and then from this column called price we need to calculate the minimum average and maximum so df2 uh, dot group by right so group by the host popularity column and then take the price column right take the price column and what you can do is you can either go ahead and in this df2 you can do the same thing thrice that make a column called you know uh, minimum price and then do this group by take the price dot minimum right and then do the same for average for maximum and because of that you will have to do the same thing three times but there is a shortcut that you can you know instead of doing all that you can do that directly in one line by using dot aggregates right so if i write dot aggregate and using this price column firstly what you do is use the minimum function then you do the mean function and then you use the maximum function right and once you have this then you just simply reset index why because in the output you need the host popularity column right if you don't do reset index this host popularity column will be in the index so let me run this let's see what we have now so now if you look at it right so for hot 340.12 464.233 and maximum price 633.51 so you have this let me go ahead and submit it so this passes all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it so you see how we do this in python now let's apply the same thing in mysql so here again the same question right so table airbnb host searches expected output is same as well and the table airbnb host surface also has the same values and columns etc so here again what we can do is the first thing that we did uh, using python is we created a column called host id right which are which was basically concatenation of five different columns right so price room type host sense zip code and number of reviews so what we can do is from this uh, table called airbnb host searches let's create a column called concat right concat the price then room type then host sense right then uh, zip code and then number of reviews right number of reviews uh, and let's alias this as host id uh, and then what do we need? Uh, what do we learn from the Python thing that we only need up apart from this host ID, we need the price to calculate the minimum average and maximum and the number of reviews to have these popularity ratings. So let's take the price column as well as the number of reviews, right? So these are the only columns that matter to us. Uh, let me run this again. So again, here you can see, uh, you know, there might be repetitions. The easiest way to do away with this uh, repetitions in MySQL is just have a distinct right, right? So just write distinct. So it will only have distinct combinations of these three columns, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Uh, so now you have, you don't have that problem, right? So what we can do is once we have this, then we can save this, right? We can save this in a common table expression. So with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses. And now from this common table expression, let's keep 
all the columns all the three columns and then you know use this number of reviews column to basically get the popularity rating right so use the case when statement so case when number of reviews is equal to zero then you have basically new when uh, number of reviews between one and five then it is what then it is uh, rising right then it is rising um okay let me just okay uh, and then let me just you know copy this because it is very similar so then six and fifteen 16 and 40 right okay so between 6 and 15 right it should be trending up then between 16 and 40 right between 16 and 40 it should be popular and else it should be it is going to be more than 40 right so else it should be hot uh, let's end this case when statement and alias this as whatever is required in the output so as host pop rating okay uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having right now so we created this column now what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression cte2 and then from this group by this and uh, you know calculate the minimum maximum and average of the price column so this entire thing goes into parentheses as well so cte2 as right uh, and then from this cte2 right so from this cte2 let's group by host pop rating return host popularity rating and then have the minimum of the price column alias this as minimum price then uh, average of the price column alias this as average of price and maximum of price column alias alias this as max of price okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so now you host popularity rating minimum average and maximum so for rising let's check 355.5350 okay so this looks good let me go ahead and submit it so let's pass all the test cases so everything is green and this is how you do it so yeah it is somewhat confusing at the beginning right but you need to make sure that you are you know doing away with duplicates and secondly it is like very straightforward after that so once you have have the host id then all you had to do was uh, made sure that you drop duplicates and then uh, use the case win statements to basically categorize them based on the number of reviews so that we have the host popularity rating and then we grouped by the host popularity rating and calculated the minimum average and maximum price for each of those ratings so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video